All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, another week. My name is Bob Cunningham, and I'm an employee assistance counselor with Life and Work Connections. This is our fourth edition of Mindful Mondays. I wanna thank you for joining us today. Today, we are gonna take a little different approach from previous sessions that I've done. Um, previous sessions, I've had a brief presentation and then we would get into a short practice. Today, we're gonna to focus solely on practice. And today's session title is called Squeezing Out Stress. So what we're gonna to use today is something called progressive muscle relax, relaxation or PMR for short. And in this activity, basically what you're doing is you are working through your entire body, tensing muscle groups, and then as you tense your muscle groups, you're breathing in. As you're releasing that tension, you're breathing out. <clears throat> PMR can be really helpful with muscle tension. I like to use PMR sometimes before going to bed. I prefer to do PMR lying down. You can, of course, do it seated in a chair. That's how I'm going to do it with you today. But if it's more comfortable for you and you're able to do this um, lying down, you're more than welcome to do that does work a little better with low lights because uh, some people have sensitivity to light and this is a relaxation activity. So uh, if that helps, you can dim the lights as well. In between each mus uh, muscle tensioning that we do, we're gonna take a brief 10 to 15 seconds to do some deep breathing. And the goal here again is for release of muscle tension. Just a quick note about pain. If there's any part of your body where you experience pain, like your lower back or your neck, when we get to that portion, you can, uh, you can skip the activity and just focus on deep breathing. So to start, what I'd like you to do, if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes or lower them into a half gaze, whatever feels good for you. And let's start by just taking three long, deep breaths. Bring your awareness into your body. Start to notice any tension that you might have built up anywhere in your body. Where is that tension showing up? If you notice your mind drifting during this activity, no problem. Just gently bring it back to your physical awareness. It, sometimes it helps me to just focus on my breathing. I notice my mind water, wandering a lot. We'll start at our feet. And what I'd like you to do is imagine squeezing a ball between your feet. So you'll be squeezing your toes in. And while you're squeezing, squeeze as hard as you can, not to the point of pain, but just to where there's tension. And while you're squeezing, you're breathing in. Hold, breathe out and release. Take another deep breath, bringing that healing power of the breath all the way through your body, down to your feet, really feeling that breath, helping to bring some relaxation to your body. We'll shift now to our shins. And if you're seated, the best way to do this is to point your toes towards, your, towards the ceiling, feeling tension in your shins. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out and release. Deep breath. Now we're tightening our calf muscles. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Tighten your thighs. 
breathe in. Holding your breath. Breathe out and release. Tighten your bottom and your hips as best as you can. Breathing in. And hold. And breathe out and release. And tighten your stomach muscles and breathe in. A little harder to do when you're tightening your stomach muscles, but it is possible. Deep breath as best as you can. Breathe out and release. And tighten your chest. And breathe in. Breathe out and release. Let's pause here for just to take a couple deep breaths. Feeling your body relax. Smile on your face if that feels okay for you. It's a Monday. Happy for another week. And let's tighten our lower back. And the way to do this is to sit upright and arch your back slightly. If you're laying down, also arch your back slightly and hold and breathe in and hold and breathe out and release. Moving on to our upper back move your shoulders, try to put your shoulder blades together as best as you can and breathe in and breathe out and release. Now for our shoulders, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrug them up towards the ceiling if you're lying down, just shrug them up towards your head and hold them and breathe in and release and breathe out. Now tighten your biceps and breathe in. Hold and breathe out and release. Feeling the tension exit our body. Now for our forearms, you hold your arms straight out and bend your hands back towards your body, tightening your forearms and hold and breathe in. release. Now flip your arms over. Again, bend your arms toward you. And we're going to tighten the inside of our forearms. And breathe in. And release. Now for our hands. Clinch them tightly. Breathe in. And release. Feeling that tension leave your body. I don't know about you. I get a lot of tension in my hands. I like to do that a couple times sometimes. 
Now for our neck, <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is point your chin down towards your chest and hold that position and breathe in. And release. And for our face, again, we have a smile on our face, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that smile as broad as we can, tighten our face muscles. If it helps you to smile, you can look at my goofy face. And breathe in. And breathe out. And now for our forehead, we're going to raise our eyebrows as high as they can go towards the ceiling. And breathe in. And hold. And release. And now, <clears throat> I'd like you to take a couple full belly breaths. Again, bringing your awareness to your body. Noticing how your body feels. Maybe noticing any other tension in your body. And as my supervisor likes to say, this will be a uh, pick your own adventure. Wherever you have tension in your body right now, Take a deep belly breath, tense that part of your body, any place extra that you'd like to focus on right now. For me, it's gonna be my hands. And a deep breath. And hold. And release. Now you might be thinking, boy, now I'm supposed to be working for the rest of the day and I'm on the couch feeling like a bowl of jello and I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is a little bit of a wake up activity. So this is something that we do in my Qigong class. Now, if you're not familiar with Qigong, I'll be introducing to that some of the Qigong practices to you down the road. But this particular technique is called the wake up technique. And we do this at the end of an hour to an hour and a half long Qigong class. After we've done some meditation, we're kind of sleepy. Everybody's getting ready to drive home. Basically, what you do is you just take your hand, you hold your other, you hold your arm out, you take your right hand, and you start slapping your arm up and down. Hold the other arm out, do the same thing. Take your hands and make a fist. You can kind of tap yourself gently on the chest. Waking ourselves up, big smile on our face, getting ready for the week. All right. So I hope that you found this helpful. Again, this is an exercise I like to do at bedtime, works best for me then. Um, there is a video, if you haven't had a chance to see it, I'd like to share a link with you. This is a video between Dr. Um, or President Robbins and Dr. Andrew Wheel from the uh, Integrative uh, Center for Integrative Medicine. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is they talk about health and this virus that's going around. And one of the things Dr. Wheel talks about is that healthy organisms resist diseases. And not just from a nutritional sense, but I think what we've been practicing, not just in Mindful Mondays, but also with what Tanya is teaching you, what Jim is teaching you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I think just life and work connections in general, our approaches 
teaching health from different perspectives and self-care. And so the video is about 10 minutes long. If you want to check that out, I think it's a good message to remind ourselves to take care of ourselves, not just nutritionally and health wise through exercise, but through mindful from mindfulness practices like we're teaching you here on Mondays. So I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next Monday. And I thank you for joining us today.